Catclaw acacia is typically a low growing multi stemmed thorn gangly shrub with an overall bluish tint in color. It is possible for mature plants to resemble small trees, but browsing pressure usually prevents that from occurring. The shape is considered rounded, and the single quarter inch thorns are sharply curved like its namesake. This can be a standalone plant, but usually grows in colonies or thickets and will readily rip any clothing that it comes into contact with. Catclaw can easily be confused with its kinfolk, Romer's acacia, without a closer look. Catclaw is considered a number two choice browse plant and grows primarily in upland sites and seems to prefer rocky soils or rugged hillsides. It may grow within and conjunction with other plants such as lope bush, mesquite, and prickly pear cactus. Because of the thorns, livestock may graze the new growth or very young plants but tend to avoid older plants. The ungrazed grasses underneath provide excellent nesting cover for quail and turkey and ideal fawning cover. The leaves are small, petite, and twice compounded and typically have a bluish hue to them. Leaves appear tight on the stem with little separation. The flower is a rounded, fragrant yellow ball, half inch in diameter found at the end of each twig. The fruit is a bluish red legume pod, half inch wide and up to five inches long, compressed flat and may either be straight or slightly curled. Crude protein varies throughout the seasons and soil types but ranges from 19 to 30 percent. Catclaw acacia is an important part of the north, central, south, and west Texas landscape. The palatable leaves provide forage, the sharp thorns provide excellent protection, escape, and nesting cover for ground nesters, and turkey and quail actively eat the abundant seeds that fall to the ground once the pods burst open. Thickets may be large and impenetrable, so some landowners may wish to control the spread using chemical applications. Prescribed fire will top kill it and aggressive soil disturbance is required with heavy equipment to remove it permanently. This is a good wide use plant to have in the landscape to benefit a wide array of wildlife species.